Hi everyone, my name is Rishi Giridhar. I'm from Mumbai and I am a recovered COVID patient. I tested positive on March 22nd and here is my story of recovery and uh, my experience at the hospital. I'm 21 years old and I'm a student at uh, LSE in London. Because of the COVID outbreak, me, as, long, as well as many other students, all decided to come home to our families, um, back to our home countries. So I flew back to Mumbai on the 17th of March. And when I flew back, I was totally healthy. I had no fever, no cough, um, absolutely nothing. And uh, I passed airport checks. I was totally healthy. But despite this, um, my, my family and I decided that I should completely isolate away from them. I was fine for the first few days, but from day two or three onwards, my symptoms started to arise. These included fever, nausea, uh, you know, body pains, headache, fatigue. And uh, I think on the 21st of March, which is four days after I landed, I was just walking around at home and I fainted. And I you know, unfortunately fell on my face and had some facial injuries, broke some teeth. So I think when I woke up, I called my family. They were totally calm. They just called our family doctor uh, on the phone and he advised me correctly to go to Kasturba Hospital in Mumbai to get myself tested. Initially, Rishi's parents were a little worried, but they were eventually relieved that at least he's in the hospital and is being taken care of. The building I was staying in was quarantined uh, and uh, contact tracing was done, you know, immediately. So I was called by uh, hospital and government officials and they found out who I was in contact with, who, how did I go from airport to home, how did I go from home to hospital, who I was staying with at home. Thankfully I was in contact with very few people because I did my best to maintain distance. We wore masks, etc. And everyone who I was in contact was, with was tested and was tested negative. Rishi got tested on 21st March and once he was tested positive, they shifted him to another ward. I was in, I was in a, a room with one other patient and he was also a COVID positive patient. But in the morning, nurses were in and they were doing all sorts of tests. X-ray, BP, blood test, um, you know, blood oxygen, you know, all sorts of things. And uh, that's when I think more close monitoring was done in every patient. When I was kept in the ward, um, I was initially with one other person and then I was transferred to another ward where there were two other people in my room and it was generally a ward with multiple rooms and uh, you know, there was no restriction on you know, your phone or laptop so you know, it wasn't too, obviously the first few days are a bit, are, are a bit you know, uh, feel a bit nervous but uh, docs and nurses are always taking rounds and checking up on you which is reassuring. There are also people in the room, which is nice because it was lot, it's a lot less lonely and I ended up making some nice ward buddies. And uh, uh, they're constantly doing tests um, and checking stuff like BP and blood oxygen. They're also giving you medicines regularly, such as multivitamins and stuff. And also, uh, you know, we're given breakfast, lunch and dinner. And mainly it's just a matter of uh, taking rest, uh, drinking plenty of fluids you know, taking your medicines and... Yeah, the food at the hospital is just regular, like, you know, it, it feels like a home-cooked meal. For 19 days I spent in the hospital and I walked out without paying, paying, a, paying a penny. No, the treatment was great. Uh, they're really doing the best they can. I think it's easy to... Uh, criticize government facilities but when you're on the ground and there are so many patients and they're just running around all the time and they're constantly like checking every patient, doing tests, making sure everyone's okay. They're doing the best they can. I have nothing but gratitude to everyone who took care of me. It's been exactly 14 days since my, uh, since my discharge from the hospital. I had to do another precautionary 14 day quarantine. So I just completed that today. I feel fine now. Yeah, I feel totally fine. 
it seems that you can't really predict how this virus is going to affect you. It's also a very contagious virus. So if there's anything I'd like to say, it's to stay indoors, stay safe. Um, just follow the state's orders. And...